So we're now ready to download and install Xcode 11. So this is the application that we'll be using to write our code and build our iOS apps. It's developed by Apple and it's free to download. So you don't have to worry about paying for it or paying for upgrades or any of that. But before we start, there's a couple of things that you need to check to ensure that your download and installation goes smoothly. First thing is to make sure that you have enough space on your hard drive. So even though Xcode is only about 4.5 gigabytes, you need about 10 gigabytes for the download and installation. So first check to make sure that you have enough space. And to do that, it's pretty simple. Just head over to the Apple icon at the top of your menu bar and go to About This Mac. And when you're here, you can click on the storage tab to see how much free space you have to play with. And just make sure that, that it's over 10 gigabytes. So the next thing that you need to check is to make sure that your Mac OS, your operating system, is updated to the latest version. So to make sure that you've got the right operating system, it's as simple as going to the Apple icon and going to, again, about this Mac, and you can see here which version you've got. And ideally, you should be on Mac OS Catalina version 10.15 or above. And depending on the age of your laptop, you might be limited to a previous version of Mac OS, something like High Sierra or even El Capitan. In those cases, you won't be able to download and install the latest version of Xcode, which is Xcode 11. And in that case, I recommend you following one of my previous courses, such as the iOS 11 or the iOS 12 course. So once you've done those two things, the last thing that you need to make sure is that don't download a beta version of Xcode. It's actually not that easy to download it by accident because as long as you're going through this video and following along with what we're doing, then you can be downloading the official release version of Xcode and you won't have any problems. The reason why we don't like our students to be working with betas is because beta software is meant for testing. So it can contain bugs and it might end up giving you more headaches than it's worth. So no betas, stick with what we're going to do, and you'll have a much, much better experience developing for iOS. All right, so let's go ahead and do it together. So head over to the App Store. Um, you can either use Spotlight by holding down Command and Spacebar to bring it up uh, using the shortcut, or you can head over to the Spotlight icon uh, over here. Or if you want to be really fancy, you can even get Siri to do it for you. Siri, open the App Store. There we go. So head over to the search bar here and just type in Xcode and then hit enter. And you can see it come up over here. And if you just click on this button here, you'll be able to install it onto your system. Now this can take a little while and sometimes you'll see it just hanging and it refuses to do anything. So have a look and see if some of those things I mentioned earlier might be the problem. So downloading Xcode can take anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours, depending on your network connection. You have to make sure that you have a good, strong, stable network connection so that it doesn't fail in the middle of downloading. Now, while you're waiting, it might be worth heading over to a bonus video that I've included, which is a talk that I often give to companies as well as students on how to make an app from beginning to end. But once you're done with downloading Xcode, then feel free to head over to the next lesson where we're going to get started by looking at Xcode and walking through all of the important parts.